Hi everybody and welcome back to Julie's Creative Corner. I'm Julie and you're watching an installment of my weekly vlogging series in this week. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about my illness and then I'm going to show you a dress that I made. I hope you will enjoy it very much. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm sitting here because today is the first day that I'm feeling up for just filming a little bit again. It's Thursday and last week I filmed until I think Wednesday and I was thinking that you might want to know why I stopped there and why there was no video last week. But I'll insert here what I did film last week. I found some fabric and I think this is beautiful. I have a little more than two and a half meters. So now the hunt for a pattern. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be the basis of the dress for my brother-in-law's birthday next weekend. And here's the line drawing. And I'm gonna love it, I'm sure. This is how far I've come with my dress project. The red thing here is the lining. So it's going to sit here and then get turned in. This is a skirt and lining hanging on the back side of the door for drop because it is a circle skirt and a half circle skirt and I have here I don't know if you can see this but I have actually written out how long it's supposed to be and I've done the same on the skirt fabric but you can't see that because the skirt fabric is kind of wild I think this is it going to be a beautiful dress. So that's how far I've come. Now I just need to put it all together and put in a zip. I'm trying to make bias binding for my for my birthday dress out of this gorgeous fabric. Orange and pink dots. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. So here it is. The dress I'm going to wear to my brother-in-law's 50th birthday. And it is a full circle skirt I have here. And underneath for the underskirt is a half circle skirt. This is how it looks. Let's see if I can get this to. I have this pink ribbon here just to help me open and close it as I'm home alone right now. But this is how it looks on the back. I'm very sorry for the light. This is the only place I have with a full figure mirror. And of course, I'm always going to wear these grey <laughs> cuts and socks because that's just extremely attractive. But this is it. This is how it ended up looking. And I'm actually looking very much forward to wearing it, especially now that I see it on screen. And actually, the pattern was supposed to be made from something stretchy and this is absolutely not stretchy not in the slightest but it's okay because i fixed it and i made it work as you see so this is it and i'm so happy it's done this hem I have 
I'll show you here, is bias bound and done by hand. And it took hours and hours and hours to do. But I'm really, really proud of the result. So this is it. And I'm so proud of this dress. And happy with it. And I'm going to look gorgeous at my brother-in-law's birthday. And it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe this fall and winter, I think. So I was thinking that I could tell you guys a little bit about my sickness, because that was what I had last week. I am what you call manic depressive, which means that my, my mood can just switch on and off whenever with no no with no warning and i can i can be happy and going fine up here and then suddenly just like turning a hand i can be down here and just be sad and have no energy and It's hard. It's hard for me. It's hard for my family. But yeah, it started. It started. I don't know. Tuesday, Wednesday last week, I think. Wednesday, I had to go home from work early because I was just feeling like crying. My throat was all bunched up, and nothing was good. And when I got home, I was just running up to my bed to cry because I just was feeling so bad Thursday was a better day uh, I was out paddling just a little bit and was just like okay going here and here and here you see I'm still not quite up but I'm feeling a lot better Friday was a crying day and I was just crying all day long and the tears, they were streaming down my face. Well, actually, it was more like you see in cartoons where the tears was going out here and out here. And I was just, no, I was just feeling so bad. And I've been fighting to get back up. But even on my worst days, I know that I'm going up again. What I'm feeling when I'm down is worthless just that worthless like I could just as well not be here because nobody needs me that's the worst feeling in the world and I hate it but again even on my worst day I know in my brain, not with my feelings, but in my brain, I know I'm going to get up again. I'm going to feel better soon. But now I'm not totally up yet, but I'm on my way. And I know that if I just keep on living like I normally would, everything will be fine. But yeah, I'll be back with full <laughs> info soon. <laughs> At least I can laugh a little bit again. I couldn't in the weekend. Tuesday, I was at a meeting. And the lady I was meeting with, she had no understanding for where I was in my life because Tuesday I was not up yet I was not great yet so I told her I'm feeling a little bit bad I'm feeling a little bit sad and she was like but you're you're I'm worried that you're not getting the right treatment 
what she doesn't see is me feeling great most of the time, but then sometimes going down. And last time I had a meeting with one of the people from, from this place, I was also feeling down. And that's in my papers. But in between, I've been happy, very happy, a long, for a long, long time. Even I have been so happy that I was thinking maybe I should quit my medicine for a while. But then this happened. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it actually, it made me so mad because she had no understanding of what it would say to have a psychological illness. Because it's not, you can't see it. It's not a broken arm or a broken leg. If someone comes and, and have a, a physical illness that you can see, it's a lot easier to understand than a psychological one. And yes, I have gotten psychological help and I do have an agreement with my doctor to come and visit her when I feel bad. It feels to me like there is a lot, a lot of mentally ill people running around out there. And, oh. <laughs> and we just do not see it because It's one of those things that, at least for a little while, can be hidden behind a mask. Until people come home and can take off the mask and can just cry or scream or whatever. And I've tried just about anything when I have, when I'm, when I'm feeling down. I've tried being out, I've tried getting sunlight, I've tried just, you know, pulling myself together. But when you have a mental illness, you can't just pull yourself together. Because I know life goes up and down, always. But when you have a a mental illness it's I don't know something is blocked so that you can't just push it aside it affects every part of you your body and your brain and everything is affected by by this illness I don't want this sickness to define me I'm not the sickness. The sickness is a part of me, yeah, but it's it's not all of me. I do have I do have many other qualities. I'm a YouTube vlogger. I'm a sewer. I'm a painter. I'm a. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my ramblings. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you liked it, please tell me by hitting the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to know when I post new videos. See you next time. Bye!